obese influencer who scammed her fans. You would think a creator that does nothing but eat food on camera all day would have a hard time getting into controversy, but several mukbang content creators have managed think. to make themselves extremely infamous, with few being as documented online as Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn's lies have gotten her into mountains of controversy, as she has a rich history of Walmart scootering, supposed false allegations, was pretty much being like accusations of scams, and most obviously, a very unhealthy relationship. Is it like is it like the 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 sisters? The like thousand pound sisters or something? Is it that bad? Chip with food. Today, we'll be uncovering why she's so hated and much more as we journey through the entire history of Amber Lynn. Is it deserved? Amber Lynn was born on December 27th, 1990, in Key West, Florida. Her parents struggled with drug addiction, and she had three younger brothers Tony, Jonathan, and James. Now, it should be noted that a majority of historical events before Amber made her YouTube channel Curvy should probably calories. be taken with a big grain of salt. Amber is a known pathological liar, and the amount of lies she could tell in order to paint herself as sympathetic is unknown because no one was there. There's still a lot of interesting info here, but just be warned, a lot of it pre-YouTube could not be 100% true solely because her first-hand account is the only thing we've got. While Amber was still in her parents' care, the family moved to Sonoma County, California. In 1999, her parents were absent when a near-tragic event occurred. Her brother, Jonathan, almost strangled himself on a curtain cord, but Amber says she saved him. Soon after, due to her parents' drug issues, they lost custody of all the children. Jonathan, being a baby at the time, was adopted right away. Amber and Tony, however, were considered too old to be easy easily adopted, uh -huh. so they spent their childhood bouncing in and out of foster care. At first, Amber and Tony were placed in the same foster family, but after a while, Amber was moved to a different home while Tony stayed behind. During this time period, Amber shared memories of her foster care experiences. She recalled going camping, visiting Disneyland, and playing soccer, where she apparently won oh, championships. W she also life. mentioned that she worked as a choreographer for a dance a group way, called Space depending on how you look at it. for her performances, but things were far from perfect. Amber admitted that during this time, she would often eat all the food in her parents' foster homes. One note notable incident occurred when she was in the Girl Scouts and was supposed to be selling cookies, but she ate all of them by herself. Leaving but was it out of like stress? Was it out of just like boredom? Like what? What? We need a, the context. Being her foster parents to cover the cost. I was supposed to give the Girl Scout cookies over to the person who bought them, but I was 10 years old crying in my closet eating all of them. After moving from foster home to foster home, Amber eventually ended up in a group home. Some of her worst foster care memories took place in 2001. She said that she was once thrown down the stairs, and another time, on September 11th, while she was watching the planes hit the towers, she oh was force-fed yogurt. I was being forced to eat strawberry yogurt, and it was making me gag, but we couldn't get up off the table until we finished all our food, so I was being forced. And where I sat at the kitchen table, I could see the TV, I looked over, and then all of a sudden, I saw buildings blow up. By age 11, Amber weighed around 300 pounds. In 2002, Amber's parents Damn. had another child named James. Amber only met and held him once before he, too, was adopted, much like Jonathan. It's believed that this adoption was not a choice her parents made willingly. Despite these struggles, Amber's parents were able to regain custody of her and Tony in 2003 when she was 12. However, okay. they lost custody again in 2005 when Amber was 14. Around this time period, Amber began to smoke and, as she later revealed, had thoughts of ending her own life, which led to her being sent to a psychiatric hospital for a brief stay. Amber described her teenage years. Oh, it is a roller coaster. It goes from, you know, being put in a good home to just uh, like uh, apparently dealing with a lot of uh, shortcomings. Yo, what the hell? Years as wild. She smoked, drank, and skipped school frequently. In 2006, yeah, Amber claimed that at the age of 15, she was approached to become a plus size model. However, her parents allegedly refused to give permission for her to pursue it, even though they didn't have physical or legal custody of her at the time. Some people find her story hard to believe, since plus size modeling in 2006 generally featured women who were more average in size, and the trend of obese models didn't become mainstream until about a decade later. Right. Because of her size, Amber faced significant bullying in high school, where classmates gave her hard nicknames like Fat Amber and Smelly Amber. Apparently, one of her teachers felt bad and helped pay for her to join a diet program, possibly Weight Watchers, but Amber admitted that she failed to stick to the diet. In 2007, at age 16, Amber was officially expelled from school. She decided to attend a continuation for school what? and claimed that she graduated on time with a 3.9 GPA. After aging out of the foster care system, she moved Cap. in with her grandmother. Soon after, she began an online relationship with a transgender boy named Casey, who had not yet come out at the time. Amber visited Casey in Arizona, 
but during her visit, Amber's grandmother told her not to come back due to Amber's apparent disrespectful behavior. As a result, she was forced to move in with Casey's family, who lived in a one-bedroom apartment. Amber didn't even have a job at the time, so the family gave her an ultimatum. Either get a job or attend college. Amber chose not to go to college. And it wasn't long before things between her and Casey started to go downhill. Do you like free things? Do you like awesome things? Well, today, I partnered with Gamersubs to give away free samples using my yeah, I like Gamersubs. Gamersubs is the best powdered energy drink in the game. They've got flavors like lean. I want raw meat. Mysterious man on the packaging. They've also got raw meat for all of you intelligent jacked beasts out there. And who could forget yeah. guacamole gamer farts? <laughs> I know you guys love a good gassing. It's got zero sugar, zero carbs, and it's less than one calorie per serving. Sorry to any boogie fans out there. Gamersubs is keto Damn. friendly, diabetic safe, cheaper than energy drinks or soda, and there's no crash from this delicious caffeinated beverage. They've even got Not a bad, uh, free option if you're weird and- I want that raw meat, uh, bro. Cool. They've even, they've, I mean, it's cool if you don't like it. You're not a pussy if you don't like caffeine. You're normal. If you don't like caffeine, you're normal, actually. And of course, everything tastes better out of a degenerate waifu cup. I don't have one. And today, Sadly. Gamer Subs and I are giving away some free samples just for you. Completely free, free shipping. What you I'm still waiting on my free samples. It's been three months. My free samples are never coming. They're never showing up in my house. What do you have to lose? So use my code Tom at gamersups.gg to get your free sample. Or hey, if you miss out on the uh, free samples, no worries. You'll still get 10% off any purchase at gamersups.gg with my code Tom. Do it right now before I do something nice to you. The fans didn't know no, no. until years later, but during this period, while still with Casey, Amber began talking to a girl online named Crystal. Even though Amber said Crystal was just a friend, they did talk romantically and Crystal would send her gifts. As Amber's relationship with Casey became more strained, she eventually Yo, what are made these the decision pictures, to leave Casey man. and move in with Crystal. However, Amber quickly realized that she had almost no money, no car, and no way to actually move out of Casey's place on her own. This left her in a tough spot, so Crystal's mom ended up paying for most of the move. By 2013, Amber was officially living with Crystal, and this new chapter in her life seemed to motivate her to start a weight loss journey. Inspired by the change, she decided to document her progress on YouTube for everyone to see. Amber Lynn Wait. uploaded her first video on November 17th, 2013, where she talked about her plan- Wait, I remember this person! Oh my god. ...plans for a girl boss weight loss journey. My name's Amber Lynn and I wanted to start um, a YouTube channel for weight loss. I see a lot of videos of other people doing it and I think making these YouTube videos it might make me accountable Amber's online following started out pretty small, but her audience it was does hold you to accountable. see how her progress would go. And make no mistake, she was pretty big, so the idea of her losing a significant amount of weight was something that piqued the interest of her audience, no matter how long it would take. To kick things off, Amber posted her first weigh-in video. In it, she shared both her current weight and her goal weight. She started her journey at 368 pounds. She also mentioned that she had lost a decent amount of weight in the past and believed she could do it again, hoping it would be the solution she needed to turn her life around for good. However, things weren't looking the best after just a few days, when she posted another weigh-in, showing that she had gained three pounds instead of losing a single one. Initially, her audience remained supportive, understanding that setbacks can happen. But yeah. as time went on, and Amber started complaining about back pain and her struggles with binge eating, her followers began to lose patience. It became clear to many that her journey wasn't progressing as they had hoped. This led to criticism from viewers- Was it progressing at all? who felt that Amber wasn't being honest about her efforts or progress. She responded to the criticism in her own videos, defending herself, which only seemed to make her followers yeah, more frustrated don't, and don't disappointed. Do that, bro. In 2014, her audience grew increasingly frustrated with her lack of progress. At the start of the year, her weight had climbed to 377 pounds, nine pounds heavier than when she initially began her weight loss journey. It seemed like Amber was full of explanations for why things weren't working out. Excuses! She blamed the scale for being inaccurate, her diet for not being- Ain't no way you blamed the scale. No way you blame the scale. How? How do you blame a scale? Being effective and the pain she was experiencing as reasons for her struggles. There were moments where it seemed like she really tried to turn it around, but she often found herself admitting defeat. For example, she once planned to eat 1700 calories a day with the exception of Thanksgiving, but failed on the very first day. Already messed up. And today is only the first day. I just don't know what to do. As it became clear that her weight loss progress wasn't going anywhere, Amber began shifting her content to include vlogs. While she- uh, If you're gonna start a diet, you can't, you can't, like, there, there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts. 
you can't just, you know, choose when when to partake in Thanksgiving. You don't want to diet, you got to be consistent. That's literally like the key to it is is staying dedicated uh and consistent is like number 1 dabbled before. By 2014, it became a bigger focus of her channel. Amber's girlfriend, Crystal, often appeared in the vlogs. Amber had already attracted a number of online critics, and she became obsessed with responding to hateful comments. Some of the negative attention spilled over to Crystal, and Amber was particularly defensive when people insulted her girlfriend. As Amber's channel transitioned into more of a vlogging format, viewership began to drop. Her everyday life didn't seem all that interesting, and if she had continued to focus solely on- I, I wonder why. I wonder why. Most people's lives are not interesting. If we're being honest, it's just not that interesting, bro. Not everyone is Kai Sinat, you know, day to day basis trying to do this, uh, the next best, best big thing more of a vlogging format, viewership began to drop. Her everyday life didn't seem all that interesting, and if she had continued to focus solely on vlogging, her channel might have faded into irrelevance. But Amber, seeing the signs, eventually returned to focusing on her weight loss. She began posting almost daily, and stuck to her routines more diligently, and for the first time, she saw real progress. At one point, she weighed in at 351 pounds, which meant she had lost yeah, 17 good. from her starting weight. But even with this success, Amber soon began expressing frustration over the slow pace of her progress. She felt like the weight wasn't coming off fast enough, and the excuses started creeping back into her videos. This marks the return of old habits, and before long, she was back to slipping on her diet. I used to be down 89 pounds. Here is my weigh-in photo from today. Amber found herself back where she started, having regained all the weight she had previously lost. And Still, more! She promised to get back on track with a healthy lifestyle. In early 2015, she began going to the gym more regularly and made some improvements to her eating habits, which led to a small amount of weight loss. It seemed like if she could stick to her routine and maintain a healthy yeah. diet, she might have seen significant progress. But The heavier you are, the faster you lose weight. Uh, because your body requires more work to just function normally. So... It, all it is is a mindset of not eating. I won't just push it off to be just a mindset, I guess. Uh, yeah. As you'll come to From learn, my knowledge. that's not really how things work with Amber. Once again, she fell back into old habits, indulging in fast food even while continuing to go to the gym. Despite her workouts, the weight wasn't coming off, and her followers were quick to point out that diet plays a more important role in weight yeah, loss than just like exercise. 80%. But Amber wasn't interested in this advice and chose to ignore the feedback, brushing off anyone who tried to offer suggestions. In Amber's videos, viewers started picking up on the fact that nearly every time Crystal made an appearance, she was coughing, which eventually led her to see a doctor to get it checked out. The diagnosis turned out to be a simple ulcer, something minor and easily treatable. However, Amber reacted dramatically, blowing the situation oh, out of proportion, even though for it wasn't views, very serious. For views. It turns out that Crystal actually has an ulcer on her esophagus, and we never knew this. I just got done crying because I know ulcers, like, don't kill you per se. <laughs> it just makes me really sad, and it makes me want to sue the place. It what? It's absolutely devastating. By now, people had started realizing that Amber loved to shove her camera in almost any situation she found herself in, regardless of how personal it was. It became more oh. apparent that YouTube was starting to become her life, and oversharing personal details would start becoming a staple of the forming Amberlynn Reed brand. Despite Crystal's health issue, Amber didn't change her habits or deviate from her usual pattern. She continued to binge on unhealthy foods, even though she often talked about returning to the gym. For weeks, she repeatedly promised to start fresh on Monday, yet those commitments never materialized. At the same time, there were also subtle clues as Zero to why might have been more emotional than usual. Crystal had begun sleeping in a separate bedroom because Amber's snoring had become unbearable. But it wasn't just the snoring. Crystal's patience with Amber seemed to be wearing thin. She had grown increasingly frustrated with Amber, which was clear from her attitude. She appeared less and less in the videos, and when she did, her irritation with Amber was extremely noticeable. At this point, Amber was also living without a steady source of income. She was posting regularly on her YouTube channel, but it was still relatively small, and she wasn't making enough money from it to support herself. As a result, she relied heavily on Crystal who ended up covering most of their living expenses. Amber, in turn, Damn. contributed very little financially, which caused tension between them. Over time, Crystal began to grow even more resentful, and the relationship got worse as Amber continued to rely on her without taking steps to improve her own situation. By the middle of 2015, Amber's focus on weight loss had completely disappeared from her content. Most of her videos were now daily vlogs, with Crystal appearing less and less and less, as they became rather uneventful. As the interest in her channel began to fade, Amber once again decided to restart her weight loss journey. Oh my god! 
Lord, what is this? Up four times? Time? She somehow reached a new record. 403 pounds. Her heaviest yet. 34 pounds more than when she had started earlier. And, and, and this could be uh, a lot of things. It could be like stress related, right? To like they're separating and, and she's stressing, she's stress eating, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not as shocked. Although Amber constantly spoke about being committed to losing weight, her actions didn't match her words. Her vlog still showed her eating poorly, and there was little indication that she was serious about her new journey. Thinking she needed support, Amber started saying that she joined Overeaters Anonymous, a program designed to help people who struggle with overeating, like Alcoholics Anonymous, except instead yeah. of fantasy, it's McDonald's. Amber claimed she showed up early for her first meeting, standing outside in the rain, but after searching for the location, she gave up and never went back. With Amber's history of making questionable claims, many wonder if she ever truly attempted to attend the meeting. Regardless of that, one thing was clear. Amber was gaining even more weight. She had completely given up on any sort of diet or exercise regimen, and her weight increased to the point where her scale could no longer display the actual number. During this time, Amber was also trying to learn how to drive, with Crystal dedicating a lot of time to teaching her. Despite Crystal's efforts, Amber never managed to get the hang of it. Just a reminder, Amber had been pretty much freeloading off of Crystal and her mother for over yeah. a year at this point. The fact she was not even willing to She's learn a how leech. to drive, along with a plethora of building resentment throughout the months, 100% contributed to Crystal eventually reaching her breaking point. On April 15th, 2015, Amber would finally upload going through a breakup. This is probably gonna come at you guys as a surprise because it came at me as a surprise, definitely. A lot of people guessed what I was going through. I'm not sure how lucky guess we decided to break up. Although Amber and Crystal had ended their romantic relationship, Amber claimed they continued to maintain a friendship, with Amber still living in Crystal's house. Almost immediately, Crystal began searching for a new partner, leading Amber to understand that her time in the home was quickly dwindling. Interestingly, the breakup seemed to spark a renewed desire in Amber to focus on her Good weight loss. Documentary. She began to claim that she was counting calories and eating healthier foods. However, given her track record, it was hard for uh... Amber to take her statement seriously at this point. Amber also mentioned that her aggressive weight loss efforts were causing her to develop gallstones, which are a uh, little bit of a gross out warning here, hardened deposits of bile that form in the gallbladder, and that this was due to the drastic changes she was making. At one point, she returned to Overeaters Anonymous, stating that she had cried over 10 times in just one hour. Still, she didn't follow through with her commitment and soon yeah, reverted to her crying, habits losing once again. Calories. It was already clear that Crystal had grown tired of Amber living with her, and as time went on, she faced the unsettling prospect of needing to find a new place to stay, all while lacking a job or a car. Just like, like, you, uh, gummy bears, ice cream, Graham crackers, bro. Oh my god. Just as it seemed her situation couldn't get any worse, Amber began to communicate with a new girl online, which was probably the one thing she Yo. was going for her at the time. Amber would eventually reveal that the girl she was talking to online was named Destiny, and the relationship was progressing at a rapid rate, most likely because Amber was on the verge of being evicted. Amber quickly moved in with Destiny and her new roommate, and soon after, Destiny became a regular feature in Amber's videos. Her it is kind of motivational, huh? It, it is not nah, how does she keep how does she keep moving place to place like this she like starts talking to him hey uh by the way I i'm only here to freeload off you can i move in tomorrow yeah of course come on we'll record videos together do all this while i just pay for you to leech off my my pantry her wacky expressions made her far more entertaining than Amber, providing the much-needed boost to her content. Destiny also owned several pets, including a cat named Gracie, who one day went missing and was never seen again. Fans speculated that Amber might have deliberately let Gracie outside, but there wasn't any proof at the time. Also at that time, Destiny had already reached the pet limit for her apartment, and it was clear that Gracie didn't have a strong bond with Amber, nor did Amber care much for the cat. Amber had long harbored dreams of having her own child, and even established a fund for that purpose well before Gracie's disappearance. Yo! Plus, the timing of the cat her own child and even established a fund for that purpose well before Gracie why is half the dog shaved what his disappearance. Thus, the timing of the cat's vanishing act and Amber Swift's acquisition of a new cat named Wasabi raised suspicion among viewers, but there was no proof of this. Destiny, of course, was heartbroken. Gracie was her beloved pet, and she had this cat far before Amber even came into the picture. Destiny held out hope for Gracie's return, while Amber appeared largely unaffected by the whole I know ordeal. What you mean. In 2015, financial issues began to emerge in the household, especially Again. after Amber moved in. Destiny appeared to struggle to sustain their lifestyle, leading Amber to sell many of her personal items to avoid having to get a job. Amber did 
eventually start applying for work, and one of the roles she targeted was the same as Destiny's, a care assistant job, which involves helping elderly or disabled patients with tasks they can't even manage on their own. Alongside right, the job that's what I was about Amber to was say. She was officially... Yo, you should not be able to get jobs like that if you can't take care of your own self, like... Uh part of Weight Watchers, trying to get back into the weight loss content. Fans had liked seeing Destiny and Amber making content no, together they're tired more, of it. but that didn't stop them from getting into a few minor controversies. One of the funnier examples of this was when Destiny used the N-word in one of Amber's vlogs, which outraged some people, even though it was in the context of a song lyric. Around this period, Amber also provided a weigh-in update to track her weight loss progress. She claimed to be following Weight Watchers diligently, and many were eager to see her results. Cat. Surely this time, because of the Weight Watchers, no, she had cat, at least bro. lost a few pounds. Hey, 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 this is not a fool me one for me twice for me three times blah 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 bro she has literally fooled her community like 10 times at this point 10 times at this point when when are people going to learn it's the same thing with the crypto scams I weighed myself and I was 425.8. That is the highest I've ever weighed in my whole entire life. That's right. Not only has she not lost any weight, she was up to 425. Fans were not the happiest about this development, and Amber started receiving some major backlash for her dishonesty. In almost every vlog, Amber and Destiny would frequently eat out, often citing their busy schedules oh. and lack of time to prepare meals at home as the reason. It was also during this period- Busy schedules? You make- you record vlogs for the day! Like, you- period that Amber famously attempted to introduce veganism into her life, saying she would commit to eating vegan meals at least one day a week. Unsurprisingly, this didn't last long. At the start of 2016, Amber would once again start a new weight loss journey at the beginning of the year, but her scale ended up not being able to weigh her. After purchasing a new one, she weighed in at approximately 460 pounds, which was 40 more than the last recorded weight. By now, how, how is that not motivation? If your scale doesn't read out your weight, bro, how is that not motivation? How is that not motivation? Like that that should that should make you dedicated enough. Your scale, you have to go buy a new scale. You have to go buy a new scale to record your weight. April, she had reached 470. Amber also started making a habit of placing the blame on others, specifically calling Destiny an enabler, and saying that she needed more support to succeed in her weight loss journey. This may have contributed to cracks in her relationship with Destiny, similar to what happened with Crystal. Destiny then started appearing less frequently in the vlogs, though a bit more than Crystal had, but the difference in her enthusiasm and presence was definitely noticeable. By this point, people had started recognizing a recurring pattern with Amber, and they labeled it the Amberlynn cycle. This cycle typically- uh, They just- they just started realizing this. With Amber attempting to redeem herself, presenting a new weight loss plan. To Freshly washed hair. Oh my god. Did she not take like daily showers? Yo, that's bad. That's bad doing regular weigh-ins, announcing a shift in mindset, purchasing new tools or joining a new program, and generally displaying a positive attitude with a renewed sense of determination. The second phase would begin when things started to unravel. She'd gradually slip back into old habits, eating out more frequently, skipping weigh-ins, and showing a general disregard for the goal she had initially set. Next came the third phase, where her backslide became more obvious. She would openly indulge in large amounts of fast food and junk food, confessing that she had abandoned her diet efforts, often providing explanations such as struggling with a disorder or other excuses to justify her behavior. Finally, the cycle concluded with a phase of emotional manipulation. She would break down in tears, offer apologies, and express that she needed time for herself. Hair caked with grease and dandruff? Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Why would you even- why would you even upload that? That's so disgusting, bro but without ever accepting real responsibility. The cycle had repeated itself several times by now and would continue to do so as time went on. A few months into 2016, Destiny's grandfather tragically suffered a heart attack and was hospitalized, which was understandably a frightening experience for both her and the entire family. But Amber chose to vlog during the car ride oh to the my. hospital, casually sharing this deeply personal situation with her audience, all while displaying a notable lack of sensitivity. It felt reminiscent of how she acted when Gracie went missing, where she seemed oh emotionally God. detached. On the flip side, during this period, Amber's emotional state seemed very unstable, as she was constantly reacting to the growing negativity and feeding into the hate she received online. She appeared perpetually upset by one thing or another, and this turmoil came at a particularly difficult time. 
I don't read the comments. Rude YouTube comments. Yeah, okay. I literally see how this is going. Time, as Destiny's mother was also dealing with serious medical issues. The two decided to move to Kentucky, supposedly to help care for her, though that didn't seem to result in much actual assistance. Amber got into hot water again when she vlogged at a child's grave. One oh of Destiny's friends had tragically lost a young kid, and to pay her respects, Destiny wanted to visit the grave. Amber not only vlogged the entire journey to the cemetery, acting unexpectedly cheerful, but also recorded footage of the grave itself. It's doubtful that she had the mother's consent to do so, and her upbeat demeanor on the way to a child's grave was seen as very unsettling. This was not the last controversy, Disgusting. though. Disgusting. After moving to Kentucky, Amber would find herself embroiled in yet another issue, this time involving her previous job. For months, she had claimed to be working uh, full-time and been been putting in her best effort. However, a video would soon expose that not only was this not true, but also that several other things she had said were lies. The only also I've lied about is the job I had in Florida. I told you guys that I was a PCA worker at a assisted living facility. We knew um, that was cap. And I wasn't. I was a PCA worker at assisted living facility, but I was not full time. I felt so guilty about my life in Virginia. I lived with my ex-girlfriend for almost four years without a job and I lived off of her parents and a lot of people didn't understand why I didn't have a job at the time and this and that. I wanted you guys to be proud of me and I I didn't want you guys to think I was some helpless person and I thought by saying I had a full-time job that it would make me seem like some freaking awesome person and really it didn't. My weight I wouldn't say I've lied to you guys per se about it, but I definitely haven't been like into like uh, telling you truthful. guys my weight. Um, I'm fluctuating a lot. Whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight or whatever. I always just say I'm losing. I don't know. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will oh not Oh my hate god. You. The part of the video that shocked most people was Amber's lie about Destiny's mom being ill is the excuse for moving to Kentucky, when in reality, they just wanted to move. The reason why we moved to Kentucky, I said it's because Destiny wanted to be there for her mom. I said we wanted to take care of her. I think I might have said that in a vlog. I don't know why. That's but it's insane. Not the truth. We were just tired of Florida, but I just felt like it was easier for me to say, you know, oh, we just want to be there for her mom. Why? Why lie? Upset that Amber Lynn Why would you lie about something like that? For for what reason? And had tried using sympathy for the reason why she moved to Kentucky, but more than that, they were just puzzled. She could have just said, "Yeah, me and Destiny want to move yeah. to Kentucky, so we're going to do that." It's not like she had to justify moving to her audience. Several people at this point were starting to realize that Amber was more than likely a pathological liar. When it came to not telling the truth, she just couldn't help herself, hmm. even if it was pointless. Amber once again gave up on hmm. trying. Did they, did they figure that out the first time she lied? No. The second time she lied? No. The third time she lied? No. The fourth time she lied? No. The 20th time she lied? No. The 30th time she lied? No. Maybe by the 100th time they realized she's just a pathological leech and liar. That's crazy to lose weight and went back to vlogging, uploading more content than ever since she was now making money on YouTube. Occasionally, she would post rants, and one of them was about her ex, Casey. In Amber's video, she accused Casey of being a claiming Casey had committed illegal acts, portraying herself as the victim. Somehow, Casey managed to find this video and actually made a response that no one saw coming. What? Completely refuting everything Amber had accused her of and saying that Amber was the abuser and not her. The places she said about being hit, those were the exact places she hit me. I was the one being abused. I didn't do it and I damn well did not her. One time, I don't know why we argued, but I was put on the bed. She wailed on me. Beat me real bad did i fight back nope not that time why because she kept calling me an abuser so i just took it i took it and people are gonna believe this story a lot more than amberlyn's because amberlyn is a well pathological liar so realistically no one knows who did what it's just you're gonna believe the side that has not come out to be a lie Everything Amberlynn has done has been built around a lie. The girl who cried wolf. Then she took off outside to the bus stop. 
Casey would show proof to back up most of what she said and pretty much prove that Amber had been cheating on her Never with mind. Crystal before they had even broken they up. Got Amber's proof. response to Casey's video was probably one of the funniest response videos ever as she decided that a great way to refute all of her points was by making a sick rap poem about it. Escape the pain and the outwardly insane. Escape the thoughts and the online taunts. Just admit you were wrong and play a different song. Admit the guilt you've sown, sown like a misguided basket. Basket case of poison sentences. My life is my story, but yet you've written a chapter. It didn't take long for the comments to overwhelmingly make fun of her for how absurd this was. Slam poetry. Oh my god. Oh, that's cringe. Because of this drama and what felt like Destiny's personal life being invaded by Amberlynn's obsession with putting everything online, it became obvious that Destiny was drifting away. She seemed irritated with Amber most of the time and was constantly on her phone. Eventually, after months of their relationship crumbling, Amber announced that she and Destiny had officially broken up, and the fans were pissed. I am getting an abundance amount of people just upset with me why is destiny's facebook say that she's single why aren't you on her profile picture like what is happening like why are you doing this to us what's with the um, rock music in the background destiny broke up with me it came to light that Destiny had been talking to other women even before the breakup, so despite claiming they were still on good terms, it was obvious there was tension between them. Amber and Destiny did continue living together, and during that time, Amber constantly tried to win her back, even though Destiny had clearly moved on and quickly started dating someone new. After that, Amber began drinking more in her videos, oh frequently my. crying, and talking about how she needed to put herself back out there. Despite her emotional struggles, she was actually losing weight, which seemed to improve her mood a bit, but things took a turn when Destiny started bringing her new girlfriend around, making it clear to Amber that the relationship was truly over. The three of them would even hang out together, even though it was pretty awkward with Amber being the third wheel. And the tension yeah. between them only grew until, just like that? with Crystal, Destiny apparently had enough and moved in with her new girlfriend. Amber was now completely alone, which apparently activated some kind of survival sense in her because not long after Destiny moved out, she had already found a new girl. Amber's new girlfriend was named Becky. Strangely enough, they first connected in the comments section of one of Amber's videos, where Becky showed a lot of belief in Amber. And from there, their relationship blossomed. Amber said she was really proud of Becky who was a refreshing change compared to Destiny. While Destiny could be rough around the edges and a bit outspoken, Becky was calm, soft-spoken, and composed. When she did speak, it was usually to share something funny or tell a story. Even though Amber was hesitant to film Becky due to past issues with recording her partners, Becky didn't seem to mind at all. Through Becky, Amber and her viewers were introduced to new characters like Raph and Hannah, who became part of their friend group. Raph stood out with her hobby of collecting dolls, something that many saw as not being a casual interest, but instead being in a way that almost gave off an unsettling serial killer vibe. It was also kind of awkward that Raph was Becky's ex, which added some tension between the three. Obviously, it didn't take long for Raph to start bad-mouthing Amber to Eric, her roommate, saying she didn't like Amber. Eric immediately relayed all of this to Amber, leading to some serious drama between them. The situation escalated with both Amber and Raph going on separate Yo. live streams to bash each other, talking about how awful the other person was. This escalated even more when Amber dumped her cats at Raph's place after moving in with Becky, citing that the landlord did not allow pets. Raph tried to help out by arranging for one of the cats to get fixed, with a woman from an Amberlynn fan group covering the cost by paying the vet directly. The appointment was all set, but when Amber found out, she wasn't too happy. She had Becky drive to Raph's house in the middle of the night during a thunderstorm to pick up the cats. One cat in particular what? had apparently also begun pissing all around Raph's house. Around 2017, Amber began calling herself the binge monster what is she? whenever she would abandon a diet oh. or skip a weigh-in. She basically used this term to justify any of her actions towards the Becky. She binge claimed that monster? the binge monster helped her block out anything negative <laughs> as a form of defense, an unstoppable force of sorts like a wild animal feasting. And if anyone dared interrupt her, she would pounce. While we're on the subject of Amber- It's feeding hour. Time to pull out the binge monster. Lynn's relationship with animals, viewers had also begun pointing Yo, out that what? Amber's dog, Twinkie, had put on a significant amount of weight over the years, possibly because Amber was sharing her own food with the dog. Twinkie had so nah. much weight that one concerned viewer actually contacted Animal Control, believing the dog was living in unhealthy conditions. Animal Control did show up to check on the situation, but nothing came of it. Not long after, Amber posted a video addressing the visit and concern over Twinkie's weight, calling whoever called Animal Control insane. Around this time, Amber had now reached 498 pounds. She promised that not only 
only would she avoid eating out in January, but Becky would also join her on this weight loss journey. Amber shared her plans, saying she would exercise more and stick to her diet, posting videos to keep everyone updated. In the first week, she did manage to lose a few pounds, but the second week didn't go as well, with her admitting yeah, to binge yeah. eating and indulging in candy. The By binge the third monster. week of January, she had completely returned to her old habits. Despite these setbacks, she still managed to lose some weight by the end of the month, a small victory considering what would become two of the most difficult years for her. An unusual development around this time was Destiny appearing in Amber's videos. Things became even stranger when Amber started flirting with Destiny in front of Becky, despite the fact that Amber had seemingly settled into her relationship with her. This wasn't the only shift happening in Amber's life. She was prescribed depression medication by her doctors, and viewers would notice a slight change in her personality in future videos, saying that her eyes looked more and more hollow. The following months were filled with failed challenges, unmet weight loss goals, and tears on camera, and by mid-2018, Amber had crossed the 500-pound threshold, and the weight gain didn't seem to be stopping. During this period, she also discovered that using clickbait titles was a very effective strategy to attract more viewers, which in turn generated more income. As she continued this approach, it almost seemed like she was motivated to gain As more weight click and rely increasingly on sensationalized does. content. Instead of discussing her weight openly, she would title her videos about starting a diet, only to follow them up with videos of her eating chocolate. This behavior understandably frustrated the audience, and it was even evident- Yo, look at that. 100k for a little vlog, and then almost a million for her eating a big chocolate bar from her appearance that she was continuing to gain weight. People began comparing pictures of Amber from when she started the channel oh! to the present, and there was a noticeable difference. Amber admitted to relying heavily on scooters while shopping since walking had become a major challenge. Whenever she did walk for any length of time, she would often complain about back pain and blisters on her feet. But by October, Yo, there was a glimmer what is of this hope speed when Amber up? spoke about meeting with a dietitian. She claimed that this expert understood her struggles and would guide her back on track. However, it turned out that Amber had connected with this dietitian through Instagram, and after finding Amber to be annoying, the dietitian eventually blocked her. The Damn. year of 2018 was filled with medical issues, Yo, personal struggles. You know it's bad when your own dietitian blocks you. Damn with Becky and friendship squabbles, making it a difficult time for Amber. But 2019 would prove to be even more insane. Amber kicked off the year by stepping onto a massive new mm. industrial scale, revealing an astonishing weight of 560 mm. pounds. In response to the revelation, she declared that this time would be different. She was finally ready to lose the weight she had been promising to tackle Cap. for six years. She recorded a video where she expressed her determination and commitment to change, this time for sure. I'm going to do full body shots every beginning of the month. I'll do random uh, weigh-ins for you guys because I don't have a set schedule of when I weigh in. I don't want to get discouraged. <laughs> this year, I'm very much making it about me. I am a priority this year, and I usually don't make myself a priority. So I'm excited for this year and the changes to come. Despite I'm how sure. things had gone in the past, this actually led some viewers to believe that Amber was finally serious about losing weight, generating a lot of excitement. But the reality of the situation was quite different. By this point in time, it became clear that Becky had taken on the role of Amber's caretaker, managing household tasks that Amber could no longer handle due to her size. With Amber's significant weight gain, she required assistance in nearly every aspect of daily life, leaving all chores Aside to Becky. From eating, Furthermore, of Amber's ongoing health issues worsened, impacting her mood in her videos and straining her interactions with others. One notable incident that upset many fans was what they referred to as Shrimpgate. In a video where she sat down for a mukbang featuring shrimp, Amber remarked that her viewers were obsessed with her weight loss journey, labeling their interest as unhealthy. The comment alienated some loyal supporters who had stood by her for years, effectively insulting them for their genuine concern. As a result, many fans unsubscribed, marking the first time in history her subscriber count began to decline. In an attempt to show some real commitment, Amber began filming more exercise routines and healthy eating habits. However, many viewers remained skeptical, believing that these videos were merely for show. While Amber's actual lifestyle behind the scenes was still quite unhealthy. During this time, Becky's mother, Norma, was also diagnosed with cancer. Amber Lynn posted a YouTube video, which has since been deleted, where she and Becky discussed Norma's diagnosis and the treatment process. Amber Lynn also promoted a GoFundMe page for Norma in the video. Oh, she heard don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me it was a scam. Praying on the inner innocent. You, you can't tell me this was a scam. Please don't tell me viewers to watch and click on the ads, but people started to get suspicious about this GoFundMe as details were not adding up. I'm Becky's mom's very best friend. I want to make something very clear. She's trying to bring attention to herself as always. We should all know already Becky's mother has breast cancer, and no, she does not help at all. The drive to the hospital for surgery was a seven-hour drive, plus they had to stay two nights, and no, Amber did not go. And now she has to have another surgery this week because they didn't get all the cancer, and the B-word talking about Amber Lynn is worried about uploading a dumb video. 
video. If people only knew Amber, they would not watch her at all. She's a very cold-hearted person, very money-hungry. It wasn't Amberlyn a didn't go scam. With them on the trip, she reportedly paid for their hotel once they arrived. Throughout the video, Becky made conflicting statements about her mom's insurance coverage, saying at different times that the insurance would cover half, wouldn't pay at all, or had denied coverage. Norma herself also gave mixed information, at one point stating she had insurance that would cover her treatment and later claiming she did not, though these comments were later deleted by Amber Lynn. At the time, Norma was married to someone named Jerry, who was later revealed to have been in the Navy. His ex-wife then went on Kiwi Farms and dropped an absolute bombshell. Norma, Becky, and Amber Lynn started to try to scam unsuspecting people on GoFundMe. To answer some questions about Jerry's retirement, yes, he retired from the U.S. Navy. We actually met while both of us served in the U.S. Navy. I was injured in the line of duty and was medically discharged. I know how Navy retirement and insurance work. You can yeah. have your base pay for the years you were in and your discharge rank. It's not actually a retirement per se. It's a retention payment. In case of a full-blown war, they call up all retired military. TRICARE covers the spouse and underage dependents. Cancer treatment is 100% covered, including implants and reconstructive surgery. He also has a full-time job. People were extremely upset, to say the least. The idea that the GoFundMe was never necessary in the first place and that Amber Lynn and Wait, Becky had openly lied was insane. It was a scam? After getting a tidal wave of hate and losing subscribers, Amber Lynn took down the video and responded in a YouTube community post now that oh she had been God. caught red-handed. My video about Becky's mom's cancer has been deleted by me because I had no idea about certain protocols when it came to talking about donations, ads, proceeds, oh money, charities, etc. If I did, I would have never spoken about it. I've contacted YouTube and spoke with them and they suggested to take down the video. I explained to them that other channels might have already uploaded it and they said that would be that channel's problem and no longer mine. My advice? Delete the video too. It's truly been a hard time for all of us, and the mess going on online right now isn't helping out either. Please keep her in your prayers and thoughts. Thank you. On top of everything, during all the backlash, Amber Lynn became overwhelmed and ended up taking it out on Becky's mom, who was still battling cancer at the time, claiming she felt unappreciated. An audio recording of this incident later leaked, which made fans even angrier and caused Amber Lynn to lose even more subscribers. I have left comments on your Facebook regarding your cancer. I have asked how you're doing. I have been there in that sense. Not once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you for the video I made. Was? Not once did you say sorry for any of the things that you... Thank you for the money that you haven't given me yet, but you will? Uh, what an ego. You have brought to my channel that is in a negative light. I am not trying to argue with you. That is the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I am just tired of the added drama onto my YouTube and I'm tired of not being appreciated oh. when I try to help you the best that I can. Many wondered why Becky stayed silent while Amber Lynn disrespected her mother and acted entitled. Becky's lack of response confused people until it was later revealed that she had been on mood stabilizers, which left her feeling emotionally numb during that time. Becky later admitted that she hardly remembered anything from this period, but this could just be an excuse for the GoFundMe disaster. Yeah, if yeah. you check out the GoFundMe today, it's still up and says that they raised $3,000. Even the top comment is someone talking about how Becky and Amber lied about the entire thing. It's still unclear to this day if anyone ever got a refund. Regardless, Amber Lynn and Becky's reputation was damaged beyond repair. If it's On still the up, they didn't get a refund. Vlogmas, in December of 2019, Amber Lynn voiced her concerns about Twinkie's health, mentioning that the dog had difficulty walking, jumping on the bed, and was shaking in pain. Instead of taking him to the vet right away, Amber Lynn instead went shopping at Walmart and later had dinner at Chili's. She claimed wow. that there were no emergency vets available nearby, but viewers quickly discovered Yo, that a the dog is more important than your Chili's dinner, okay? Like, the dog can't do anything for himself. 24-hour vet clinic was less than 20 minutes away from where she dined. This led some fans to contact Animal Control. Rather than seek professional help, Amber Lynn gave Twinkie aspirin and later said that the dog seemed better the following day. Oh my Viewers God. would continue calling her out for this, and more of her subscribers were lost following this incident. Despite the increasing hate Amber had been getting, in terms of her weight loss, things seemed to actually be improving. But then, the pandemic hit. With lockdowns and isolation in full effect, it wasn't an ideal time to stay on track with weight loss, and Amber Lynn definitely struggled. Staying home more often, 
she relied heavily on food delivery like DoorDash. Amber used this extra time that she had during the pandemic to upload content to TikTok, which she seemed to really enjoy. Viewers also seemed to enjoy her content, and whether or not it was ironic viewership, she was still getting a good amount of views, and a few clips mm. of her went semi-viral. However, she then faced another health scare, and this time it was more serious. After noticing an unusual amount of, um, bleeding coming from her parts, Amberlynn visited the doctor for some tests. She revealed that due to her size, certain scans couldn't be performed right away, and she Damn. had to wait for results. When they finally came in, it wasn't good. She was diagnosed with uterine cancer. She later shared an emotional video explaining her diagnosis and the steps she would take moving forward. So I got my result, my results back, and I do have cancer. And I think the reason why I'm really scared is because of my weight, which is also my fault. As hard as this is, I still just want to keep trying to live my normal life. All of this prompted Amber to start taking her health more seriously, and the audience showed a lot of support yeah. during this difficult time. Despite Why is there the Taco lies Bell? she had told and the controversies she had been involved in, no one wanted to see her go through something as serious as cancer. To remove it, she needed a hysterectomy, but before the surgery, she was required to lose some weight. Determined, she committed to dieting, exercising, and doing everything possible to improve her chances of success. However, instead of losing weight, she actually gained some more before the surgery. Still, it seems the procedure went smoothly, and she hasn't had any problems with cancer to this day. Yo. Things Yo, she is playing with her life doing that. Yo, being heavy and undergoing surgery is already scary enough. Why? Why would you? Why would you even risk it by gaining more weight right before surgery? Oh my god! It's like, like I know she cares about herself. Probably a little bit too much. Her ego's a little too high. But then again, it's like she's also just just rolling with it. Seem to be looking up for both Amber and Becky. They had both moved into a new place. Amber was cancer free and they planned to restart their weight loss journey together. Unsurprisingly, she never stuck to any of her goals and Becky even revealed she had to help Amber with basic tasks, including using the bathroom, highlighting how bleak things had become in their household. It became clear that Amber Lynn's mental health was also declining. She stopped talking about weight loss entirely and focused on uploading vlogs, which was usually a bad sign for her progress. Her binge eating escalated again, as did the emotional breakdowns. One of the most iconic clips that went viral also happened around this time and I think it really speaks for itself. A veggie sandwich. Literally just has veggies. They gave me two chips although I asked for an apple but that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <gasps> oh, they gave me the wrong sandwich. Oh no. Turkey with bacon and cheese. I'm really, really upset right now. I'll try it. This is not a veggie sandwich. Wow. All right. Well, here we go. Amber Lynn then surprised everyone with a big announcement. She and Becky were engaged. While Amber Lynn didn't share many Yo. details, she described the proposal as very romantic and said Becky was thrilled. This news came around the same time Amber Lynn started facing a second wave of backlash from previously mentioned controversies, as more people had started digging into her past after she grew more on TikTok. In response, she began live streaming more often, a move that worked in her favor since she could set the chat to subscribers only mode. Deleting comments or turning them off entirely had become a frequent strategy for Amber Lynn to avoid criticism. At this point, Becky's relationship with Amber Lynn was falling apart, at least from her perspective. The engagement, as it turned out, was mostly Amber's idea, and she had even purchased both of them the engagement rings. Becky had apparently tried to end the relationship once before, but wasn't able to go through with it. However, by 2021, Becky had reached her breaking point. Amber Lynn eventually uploaded a video announcing the inevitable. All right, so do you want to tell them? I guess I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Um, we have broke up. Like with Chris. Why? Why is this something you live stream? Yo, what the hell is going on? Why do you live stream this? Crystal and Destiny, both Amber Lynn and Becky claimed yeah, they would so stay friends weird. and continue living together after the breakup, though viewers were doubtful that would actually happen. Not long after, Amber Lynn started openly criticizing Becky during live streams, often making negative comments about her. In one memorable moment, Becky quietly reminded Amber, remember who helped you in the bathroom, is a subtle clap back. While the comment was followed by laughter, it was clear to viewers that there was a lot of tension and bitterness between them. As 2021 went on, Becky gradually stopped appearing in the videos, though the two continued living together while they both tried to figure out 
their next steps. Becky had focused on finding a job, but Amber Lynn had other priorities. As she would soon introduce a new romantic interest, oh my the fans God. quickly nicknamed Wifey, marking the beginning of a new phase in Amber Lynn content. Amber had met Wifey online, similar to her exes. However, uh, she yeah, stood out from Amber's previous partners because she adamantly refused to appear on camera. According to Amber, Wifey highly Yo. valued her privacy and wanted to avoid any potential backlash or hate from the public. After Becky eventually moved out, Wifey moved in, and it appeared that Amber had entered into another promising relationship. Yet, her decision to stay off camera sparked curiosity and speculation among viewers. Given Amber's well-known habit of filming nearly everything in her life, including vlogs during sensitive moments, like when her partner's family was in the hospital, yeah, some what? fans questioned how a relationship with Wifey could function without her appearing on Amber's YouTube channel. This led to a growing theory that Wifey might not even be real, and that Amber was merely using the idea of a new partner to gain some leverage following her breakup with Becky. While the theory entertained viewers for a while, it eventually lost steam when people confirmed that Wifey did, in fact, exist. Wifey also seemed committed to helping Amber improve her health, reportedly buying her weight loss equipment, and providing Leaked. resources to help her focus on her fitness goals. However, without Becky... Leaked! And with Wifey remaining off camera, Amber's content once again lost its appeal to viewers. She stopped doing weigh-ins and largely avoided discussing her weight loss altogether, instead making mundane vlogs about shopping or trivial purchases like socks. As a result, viewership dropped again. In a desperate effort to regain interest, she started occasionally responding to criticism videos, which temporarily boosted her audience. However, she soon returned to her regular, uneventful content, and by 2021 and 2022, her channel had become notably dull. Yeah, so should've... dull, in fact, that even the hate watchers would get tired. And October of 2021, Null, the creator of Kiwi Farms, would officially close down the Amberlynn board due to the content drought. In the last two years, Amberlynn was proposed to and then dumped by Becky. That's it. She carefully maintains appearances, ices nope. everybody out of her life the moment they make her look bad, and maintains an insufferably smug persona as she eats herself to death. She thinks she is beautiful, despite being objectively unlovable. Lovable. To maintain this facade of beauty, she resorts to doing absolutely nothing but sitting on her sofa, pretending to live a better life off camera. This is not entertaining, and it does not deserve a dedicated board in our prestigious community. In 2022, Amber mentioned starting Ozempic, a medication for weight loss, but claimed she stopped because she was losing weight too quickly. Many viewers doubted the explanation, speculating that Amber might have stopped due to the widespread shortage of Ozempic at the time. For some reason, probably because... I'm losing weight too quickly. I need to get off this. I need to get off of it. That's her whole goal is to lose weight. Well, it's not really her goal to lose weight because she keeps lying to her fans, but she needs to keep up the appearance that she is losing weight, but also gaining at the same time. And she can't do that when she's on medication like Ozempic to where you're like, you know, steadily losing weight and it makes it harder to gain. As viewership was dwindling, she also began stirring up drama with some of her exes. Aww. This feud first ignited when she publicly blamed Becky for delaying her cancer diagnosis. Amber claimed that if she hadn't what? been with Becky, she likely would have gone to the doctor sooner. A statement that baffled many, especially considering that Becky's mother had passed away from cancer. Amber later released a video stating she needed to delete all content featuring Becky because Becky had threatened her. But it turned out she was being overly dramatic. Becky responded, saying that no, she didn't care if the older videos were public, she just wanted Amber to stop continuing to talk about her. It was very clear Becky had moved on and wanted to leave yeah. that chapter behind, distancing herself from Amber entirely. The it drama makes sense. didn't stop there, though. It seemed Amber's past relationships were resurfacing to haunt her, as Destiny soon appeared with more accusations. After starting her own YouTube channel and streaming, Destiny faced a lot of questions from viewers about her experience dating and living with Amber. In response, she shared <laughs> several embarrassing revelations, including confirming fan rumors about Amber's personal hygiene, such as not washing properly and repeatedly wearing the same clothing. The bras that you guys would always give her crap for for wearing she only had two of them i don't remember how many she said she had but she had two of the same exact bra because it was the only one that she liked and it fit her whatever it was she had them for a long time um amber lynn did not shower the whole Ew. time we were at my mom's she did not like the bathtub she refused to even try to get in i think she, she had a leg over it it was the thing because it is pretty high sides whether it was due to the ongoing drama with Amber's exes or simply because of Amber herself, yeah, Wifey good, eventually decided to end the relationship. The exact reasoning remains unclear, but it's not hard to speculate. This breakup marked the end of what many considered Amber's dullest and most uninteresting relationship to date, and fans were thrilled to see it come to a close. Throughout their time together, Wifey maintained a mysterious presence, but when she decided to leave, she did so abruptly and decisively, cutting ties with Amber completely. I just, I don't want to, like, shower. I don't want to, like, I don't want to do anything. Why is you being depressed make you not want to shower?
I don't know how that works. Why, whenever you're sad or like upset, why do you just take it out on yourself? Like, I don't understand that. Why are you taking it out on yourself? Not showering? That's disgusting. If anything, I kind of just want to like eat. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. Now that it was over, fans were hopeful that Amber would bounce back with another engaging, long-term partner to revive her stagnant content, but that didn't quite materialize. Amber entered a few brief relationships, but none generated any substantial content, and there was even speculation about the authenticity of these relationships at all. Since 2019, the once-thriving Amber Lynn train has effectively grounded to a halt, with very little Thank of interest God. happening on her channel. In early 2024, she did post a weigh-in video, revealing that she had lost a little bit of weight. How are you gonna do a weigh-in and then jack-in-the-box? Taste test. How does that make sense? Video's over when it's over. How does that make sense, though? Weight now being at around 500 pounds. Well, this was a rare, slightly She's positive piece of news. She's been 500 pounds the whole time. Most reviewers remain deeply skeptical, expecting that she would regain the weight as she had in the past. Also in 2024, she began featuring her mother in her content. Jack in the Box is disgusting, bro. They have something called a butter burger. It's just foul. It's foul, bro. It's foul sharing that she had fully recovered from her struggle with drug addiction and that they were reconnecting. A pretty wholesome development that viewers appreciated. By March, her weight dropped another five pounds, which caught some attention. However, true to form, Amber soon admitted that she had secretly been binge eating. To counteract this, she announced she was actually Ooh, starting Ozempic, thought. but many speculated she had been on it all along, which might explain her earlier weight loss. With her history of fabricating stories, it became difficult for anyone to trust what she was saying. She had lied so much in the past about things that didn't even matter that it was very hard to tell what was real. Recently, she introduced introduced a new girlfriend, That's, this one named Tommy, there. whom she had apparently met in person and even went on a double date with. Whether Tommy will bring any intrigue or be a significant presence in Amber's life and content remains to be seen, but only time will tell. Amberlynn Reed is an interesting case, partly because of what happened recently with Nikocado Avocado. For the one person who isn't aware, Nick had been on an eight-month hiatus from YouTube and came back to reveal that the last two years of videos were backlogged and he had lost an absurd amount of weight. Not exactly Amberlynn levels two of weight, but it was definitely up there. Ahead. The funniest, or to some, sad saddest part about it is that leaving the internet would probably have a similar effect for Amber Lynn, but it's clear that won't happen. It's pretty obvious that a huge part of why Amber Lynn is so big is because she uses eating as a coping mechanism for the yep. state that her life is in. Some people call it eating your feelings, and it's very apparent that this is a lifelong issue that she's had even as a child. What many don't point out though is that her YouTube channel is equally responsible for the weight gain in the state of her life. By having an audience that she can moderate and control to only say positive things, she's able to live in a delusional alternate reality, where she's never held accountable for lying, manipulating, or any of the things she's done. Other people have, of course, called her out, but it it's doesn't a real really matter shame. because she can just ignore it. If Amber Lynn had the self-responsibility to leave the internet, get her life together, and lose weight, she already would have years ago. It's clear that she's perfectly fine living in an insulated bubble, and she'll probably never leave this alternate reality where she can do no wrong. I've been Turkey Tom. Thanks for watching. And until next time, go to the gym, please. <laughs> w video, man. W video, that's crazy how many times you can lie and still, still like have, uh, and still like have that, that ability to like keep pressuring people to believe that you're telling the truth this time. Uh, it's a crazy circle that is like never ending and, and people are feeding her to like keep doing that. It's like it never ends. It never ends, dude.